Gary Bradshaw joins us right now from Hodges Capital to talk about this, uh, these four results. Gary, what do you think about four cent beat here? Not bad at all, but really the, the revenue beat is impressive. Thirty five and a half billion dollars over thirty two point one expectation. Matt, Ford had another great quarter and uh, Alan Mulally and his team have really been executing on their plan. Uh, their profitability continues to exceed expectations and, uh, you know, the, the sales momentum is obviously building. With them selling more smaller cars and it, it sounds like their margins did extremely good this quarter as well. And, to us at Hodges Capital, Ford stock really hadn't done anything the last five or six months. I guess it's gone down. But with them delivering the numbers, the stock itself looks dirt cheap to us at this level. Uh, dirt cheap, and Gary. Uh, one thing I'm noticing, though, is that one of the reasons that Ford had this beat is because it seems as if people are willing to pay more for cars, particularly these subcompacts. I'm looking at a breakdown here. It seems like the Fiesta subcompact was a particularly strong seller for them. Does that surprise you? We're talking about economic slowdown. We're talking about consumer slowdown. And yet people are willing to pay more for cars. Dieter, you're right. They are adding more options when they buy these smaller cars. They're looking for good fuel mileage, and you could see that in, in Ford's sales. But really, it's that volume increase and higher prices that's driving Ford's profitability. And I would expect that to continue as they launch more smaller cars. They're adding more options to them, the price is going up, and they've had to raise their prices because of their cost. Their steel cost is going up. But they've done a very good job of managing that, and I really expect that uh, if one would look out a couple of years, Ford is a good buy right in here. Just because of Alan Mulally and his team, they're delivering on, on their plan. They say so they're going to grow their cash flow. Uh, they're going to double it. So, uh, so, Gary, let me ask you, if you, if you think the shares are dirt cheap, you guys have, what, 200,000 shares of Ford right now? Are you going to add to that position? Matt, we would at this level. I think, realistically, if you look out two years, Ford could be earning in the high twos $3 a share. You put an eight multiple on that, it'll get you to a $25 stock. You have to look out a couple of years, of course, and hopefully, you know, gas prices won't run away. Uh, on the upside, but I would be adding to Ford at this level. What makes the you stock think in the low 13th? What, what makes you think, Gary, they can keep this pricing power? I mean, up until now, people have been wanting, as you point out, uh, vehicles with better uh, miles per gallon. Plus, they can throw in sea heaters and a navigation system and charge double what it costs them to boost their margins. But how does that continue if this uh, soft patch, which some people are starting to call a spongy path, con a patch continues into the second half? Well, we really think that uh, the economy will begin to improve in here. And, and you could just see, I mean, they Ford has really engineered a good car, and they do have a good product that the consumer wants. And just look at these numbers that they reported today. You know, sales dramatically higher than the street's looking for, earnings better. And I think Ford and will continue to deliver going forward. There's a lot of been up up demand for cars you know hopefully this year we'll buy 13 to 13 and a half million cars in the u.s and typically uh during a good economy there's 15 million cars sold so there's still a lot of room to run even in this economy matt all right hey gary thanks so much for joining us gary bradshaw their portfolio manager hodges capital management they own 200,000 shares of ford and after this beat and i will repeat beating by four cents on uh, the eps 65 cents uh beating by over three billion dollars on on the revenue line 35 and a half billion dollars gary says they may add to their holdings